Hello. Today I'm going to cover some of the basics of mechanical ventilation, starting with some of the terminology you might hear. So we're going to start with respiratory rate, tidal volume and minute volume. If you like this video and find it useful, why not give it a like? And if you want to see more, subscribe and if you click the bell icon, you'll get notified when I release more. So let's start with the respiratory rate. It might sound reasonably straightforward. You might think, well, respiratory rate's the respiratory rate, isn't it? Well, yes and no. First of all, the respiratory rate is how many breaths are taken in one minute. Now, the issue here is that these breaths could be of a different type when being mechanically ventilated. They could be mandatory breaths, assisted or supported breaths, or spontaneous breaths. So mandatory breaths are those breaths which are going to be initiated by the mechanical ventilator regardless of what the patient does or doesn't do. So let's say the ventilator is set to deliver 12 breaths a minute. That means that every five seconds the ventilator will give the patient a breath. If we change the rate to 10, then the ventilator would do this every six seconds. Supported or assisted breaths are where the patient will be initiating the breath. So the patient will try to breathe. The mechanical ventilator will notice this, usually by a drop in the flow rate, which we'll talk about in later videos, and will then help support that breath by giving them a little bit extra to help that breath become a little bit more effective. And then finally, spontaneous breaths are those breaths which are initiated by the patient with little or no support. Now it's unusual these days to give absolutely no support to a patient who's on a ventilator for many reasons, one of which is breathing through an endotracheal tube is quite difficult because of its small diameter. So we almost always give a patient a degree of support, but they can still be called spontaneous breaths. So tidal volume. What is the tidal volume? Well, quite simply, the tidal volume is the amount of air or gas that the patient breathes in with each breath. We measure this in mils, and the target we aim for is six to eight mils per kilo ideal body weight. What is ideal body weight, I might hear you ask? Okay, think of me. I'm five foot five, I'm quite short, and I am of a certain weight. Now, if I was to pile on lots and lots of weight, and let's say I gained 50 to 100 pounds, for example, my lungs would not change. They will get no bigger. I will get bigger, but my lungs won't. So in other words, if we ventilate somebody of five foot 10, who is 150 pounds, and someone of five foot 10, who is 250 pounds, their lungs are the same size, so we aim to give them the same volumes ideal body weight. And this can be measured using the patient's height with an algorithm. Six to eight mils per kilo was the figure that was arrived at in the ARDSnet study. And that's something I'm going to cover in a future video as well. But just know that six to eight mils per kilo has kind of become the gold standard, not just for the ARDS patients, but for many of our patients who are now mechanically ventilated. Minute volume. So what is minute volume? Well, minute volume is quite simply the respiratory rate multiplied by the tidal volume, which gives you the volume that the patient is taking every minute. This can be a useful guide for trends with the patient's breathing. It could be that the minute volume starts to rise as the patient is starting to take more effective breaths. Or it could also be that the patient is beginning to gasp and pant a little as they tire, which might also be reflected in the minute volume. So there you go. Respiratory rate with the mandatory, the assisted and the spontaneous breaths. Tidal volume, looking at the ideal body weight and aiming for six to eight mils per kilo. And then the minute volume, a reflection perhaps of how well your patient is or is not doing. There's more videos in this series if you want to, click on them and go take a look. I hope you found this useful.